Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm standing here with Cliff on my left, Dave on my right, and digital context aware is something that you guys have been working on as sort of a passion project inside HP, and it's making the wearables functional for the enterprise, if I understand correctly. Exactly. Digital context aware is really providing a ubiquitous solution using different devices all working collaboratively to actually find and build and solve business solutions. Uh, it might be anything from maybe a business solution for an appraiser, is right now he's taking pictures. Here we can go ahead and use the device to go ahead and capture the video and store it indefinitely. So you can come back and look at that house, place, whatever, six months from now. But the real beauty behind Context to where that Dave and I have worked on with patents is basically building a solution that does everything behind the scenes automatically. Dave, you want to tell us some more about the solution? Sure, yeah, we came up with an idea about three years ago, four years ago, when we found out that every user interface to a wearable is different, and it's challenging. So what we decided is we're going to automate the wearables based on take it, bringing the right information at the right time to the device based on context aware triggers, which works very well. It gives you a seamless experience from end to end, and that's very important for the enterprise. So the key here is making novice people smarter by using wearables to make them smarter by bringing the right information at the right time to the right device in the seamless experience. So break that down in a practical sense. What does that, what does that look like from a uh, actual use case? It could be a number of different things. It might be many different components from a checklist, remote viewing, recognition. It could be uh, a number of different items. So putting it all together in a ubiquitous solution. Like for example, a rigorous business solution we found for someone recently was an EMT in the field. He's out there right now talking to the hospital on a microphone. He goes back and tells the doctor at the receiving ER that the patient's bleeding profusely. Now what's that definition to all of us might be three different definitions. However, by wearing a wearable device such as this, he can actually send it back to the hospital with the real life video and seeing real time live what is happening and give a better triage, better diagnosis to the patient. And you look at if we can save one life with this technology, it's well worthwhile. Yeah, Cliff, another use case that's uh, very popular is the checklist use case. So we might have an individual that works in the enterprise that has five appointments he needs to go to. Okay, we know all about that individual, we know his schedule, and we can automatically navigate him to that first location without him touching the wearable. So we turn it on automatically, we navigate him there. Once we, he gets there, we know he arrives we can notify on the watch that he's arrived. You've arrived at the right location and you're supposed to execute the CERN checklist. He, we then automatically turn on the checklist on the glass and he's hands-free installing something, maintaining something, doing a QA check, doing an office setup, no matter what. However, he's novice, so he gets stuck on step five. He doesn't know how to do step five, so he can go video. We will bring up the right video for that step for his experience level to help him through. If that's not good enough, he can go schematic or diagram, and we'll bring up a diagram or schematic describing what he needs to do in that step. If that doesn't work, he can go expert. When he says expert, we'll automatically integrate to a remote viewing platform called My Room, and it will come up and bring an expert up that's seeing exactly what he's seeing hands-free through the glass, and he'll say, just switch this wire and that wire, and it should fix it. So it's very powerful, it's hands-free, remote control, seamless experience. This is like stuff out of a, a science fiction movie in a way, because I mean, you see like movies where, you know, somebody's calling, you know, calling for help from somebody and, and like, or, or even action movies where somebody has to disarm a bomb and they've got somebody like talking them through how Looking to disarm the bomb. Yep. And, and so this, this is kind of making that reality. And I think the reality is also that these devices, we're going to look at them in the same way we look at the six pound cell phone we carried around 10 years ago. The technology is going to continue to change, continue to get better. We've taken a stance at HP Enterprise Services Group of really being device agnostic. 
So we can basically provide to the clients the best and greatest new equipment as it comes in the marketplace. We're working right now with the next generation of pivot heads you have in your hand right now with better resolution, better capability, better streaming capability. We're already in talks with other manufacturers right now in our lab to look as they bring in the newest and greatest technology, we can bring it to the front line. We really want to focus on what HP does best storage, building applications, security, and doing it and providing great business solutions. And that's what we're focusing on, not the device. When you think at it in the term of an iceberg, think of the tip of the iceberg being the devices. We really want to focus on, at HP, the stuff underneath the water to make the application safe, sound, secure, that works all the time for our clients, what they're used to with HP. So then the big question becomes, how far is this from, from being a reality in the marketplace? I mean, is this, is this actually a, a shipping product? Is it still in development? We actually have it ready to roll out to a customer that needs it right now. I mean, we're actually working with a number of major clients we're rolling out with, but they've asked for confidentiality because they want to keep their secrets and business secrets. Dave, your thoughts? Yeah, ditto. I agree with you. We're, we're uh, engaging a lot of clients right now. It's very popular. Uh, we're scaling our organization to support the demand. All right, well, I look forward to seeing this in, in, in the wild. Great. We look forward to working with you and also your viewers.